Hi, I'm Jenny Johnson. And I'm... Who the hell are you? I'm Meathead from AmazingRibs.com. That's who you are. That's who I am. Do I look like I'm wearing a hamburger? <laughs> okay. If you give me a chance, I'll talk forever. That's my neighbor. <laughs> and this is this money shot. And you don't want smoke from charcoal. Charcoal is for heat. You want wood for smoke. And together today, we are going to cook the ultimate turkey, the perfect burger. The holy grail pork rib. Perfect pulled pork. A 14 pound beef brisket. That is the Mount Everest of beef. This is a really perfect piece of meat for making pulled pork. It's got a lot of connective tissue, which melts at high temperatures, and it's got a lot of intramuscular and intermuscular fat, which also melts. So you get this rich, succulent meat. If you use loin or something else, it's very lean, and you don't get the rich mouthfeel that you get from the butt. OK, Meathead, you can get off now. You can make safe poultry by cooking it to 160 degrees. How do you get there? I've got here a wide variety of thermometers that are out there for you. I know how to kill these guys. You clap your hands behind them. Good work. <laughs> Did you get that? A lot of people like to boil ribs because it makes them tender. But what it also does is it removes a lot of flavor. Water is a solvent, and that's flavor you just can't get back in. Yeah, the meat gets soft and tender, but Look at what happens. All that lovely flavor comes out of the meat, and you just can't get that back in. We're going to use our Simon and Garfunkel rub, which is just as you might guess, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And it's a good seasoning rub for on the surface, and it flavors the meat and helps create that crunchy bark that everyone loves. There's a lot of fat on a brisket, and you've got to trim it off. It won't penetrate the meat. A lot of people think that it'll melt and it'll base the meat, it'll penetrate the meat, but meat is 75% water. It's like this sponge. It's soaking with water, and oil is what the fat is made out of. So if you pour oil on that sponge, it's just going to pool on the top, and it's not going anywhere. It's not going to soak into the sponge. You're going to put the salmon in curved side down. Oh, listen to so that sizzle. Yeah. We call this the afterburner method because it looks like the back end of an afterburner of an F-16. You can put your hand in a 200 degree oven. Mm. It's 200 degrees, that air. Then press your hand up against the wall of that oven. When you get back from the hospital, you will understand that the energy stored in that 200 degree metal is a lot more concentrated than the energy stored in that 200 degree air. <laughs> That's okay, this is good. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, oh my gosh. Let's take a look at these brisket. Here's our pastrami right off the Komodo Kamado, and let's get a look at it. Now, look at that magnificent color. Wow, straight okay. away, bud. Okay. Look at this. This is the technique for cooking prime rib. And look at the shiny, oh. how juicy and succulent that is. Meathead, they came out beautifully. Mm. <laughs> You're not supposed to bite now. No? No. Water. Hydrate. Actually, gin. This is the oh. best brisket I have ever had. Hey! <laughs> oh. Wow! <laughs> That's good. Ah. Ah.